Hey y'all, welcome to this video. It's Blake and today I'm gonna be getting ready, chatting it up. So let's go ahead and get into it. Today is Thursday and I'm getting ready just to like film a video but also I'm having lunch with my dad later on. Or no, I'm having dinner with my dad later on. I do, hmm, I think I wanna do my eyebrows real quick. So actually, let me just, fix these real quick hold on okay eyebrows are touched up a little bit i just did something quick today so gonna start with my makeup um primer 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 i'm gonna do this i'm gonna be doing my nails later on so they look really bad so don't just ignore them for right now but <laughs> i'm gonna use this make it last it's a prep and set i think yeah prime correct and set so I use it before and after my makeup and then <clears throat> my skin just feels like a little bit drier so I'm gonna do this one too the mindful five nourishing face primer from Smashbox a little bit of that and then the baby skin instant pore eraser from Maybelline so first thing that you might notice is I did my hair. I took my locks out and uh, yeah, last week was rough because so I cut them and I vlogged all this but I haven't uploaded that vlog yet but I cut them and then they weren't, I cut the locks and they weren't cute. I wanted to take them out anyways but I was like let me cut them see it wasn't cute I was gonna have to like rewrap them because they were unraveling so then that was like on last week Monday and then by the end of the week I had taken them out and i was trying to figure out what next i was going to do that was a whole ordeal because i wanted a hairstyle that i couldn't do myself so i was trying to like find someone to do it getting appointments all that stuff is so like oh so stressful to me so uh i was like then i was like okay i'll just try it on myself but i didn't really feel like testing out a new hairstyle so uh, i just was on pinterest like begging for a hairstyle like something that i thought was cute and i was like um so uh yeah and then i found something like i wanted to do something short something a little opposite of the locks because they were so heavy I, I didn't i started to not enjoy them towards the end because they were so heavy so i did these like short twists kind of like spring twists but they're rope twists because i used uh just regular braiding hair or not spring twists but kind of like passion twist um i would have done the passion twist but i can't find they don't have that color they don't have passion twist hair in the, my hair color that's probably something i would have to order online which i think i'm just going to start doing because i want to do like all the different hairstyles but they don't have my hair color in all the types of hair like they only have 350 in marley hair and braiding hair really so i think i'll just like get a whole bunch of hair online and that way i can do the hairstyle and then start planning ahead so anyways i ended up on these and then i was putting on the beads like this week and i have a few left to do so i'll do that later but yeah i ended up on this hairstyle but the next time so i'm gonna do because i'm only gonna keep this for like two weeks because i went straight from the locks to these i had shampooed my scalp with when i had the locks in but i didn't like redo it because i wanted to use the same parts and all that so yeah i won't have this in for long this was just something in between because i didn't know what to do because i had cut the locks and they weren't cute anymore so i'm probably gonna do like some tiny like Sen senegalese twists i think those are like really cute i'm like wow nobody does these anymore and they're so cute or, and i've never really i've never had senegalese twists either but i think they're so cute right now i used to not like them i used to only like braids but that or um what was my other option? I don't know. All I know is I just don't want to be wearing my hair out right now. I don't want to spend time like doing my hair on a, you know, multiple times a week. So that's why I'm like going from hairstyle to hairstyle. Cause I just need a break from doing my hair. It's a little, it's, it's time consuming and I want to spend my time doing other stuff, but I'm sure y'all understand. <laughs> I'm just using some concealer. I have the Fenty in 330. Or no, in 430, not 330. Fenty in 430, and then I brighten it up a little bit with e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in 
deep olive just like a little bit to like brighten it up and then i'm gonna do a little cream contour with the flesh stick and mocha i had this for a long time and i it's almost gone uh so i don't even know like can you still get this i don't know but it's almost gone like i probably only have a little bit of time left with this i also cleaned all my makeup brushes like they're they're all clean and i have a lot of brushes i don't know how well i know how i got a lot of brushes but i don't even use them all to have this many but now that they're all clean i can like try using different brushes for different things i like, should have tried using this that might be too big um i'm gonna try this one these are all like a oh, i'm still in oh no they're still these are all aoa studio brushes from when i used to work at shop miss a i used to make videos for their social media it was like a it's a beauty like makeup brand and i would make videos for their youtube and instagram and like demo and try out their new products and, and it was a it was a pretty cool job for like what it was i would like go to the office because it's based in dallas i would go to their office and like go to work every day that was the last like real job that i had <laughs> where i had to like clock in well that was the last like clock in job i had i don't want to say real job because all these jobs are real now but that was the last like clocking job I had. So this week I have, I decided to like take a few days off cause okay, last week I was down bad. It was the time of the month. I was on my cycle and it was so, oh, there it wasn't this bad. I mean, this time wasn't that bad. I'm actually getting better at like doing different coping mechanisms and things to help prepare for that time. And just so it's not as bad, but when I am on, I'm just not as, productive and I really do have to like slow down and just be easy with myself because it's just I don't operate the same so that was the last week and I really am wanted to focus on updating my nail shop my press on nail shop so that's what I was doing this week and since I was kind of wasn't feeling it last week I didn't get to film so I would be ahead, so I just need to take a few days to focus on one thing at a time so I can get it back up and running. Cause now once it's up and running, then I'll have a schedule to focus on, but it's been closed for a while. So I had to do a few things. I've been like redesigning things. I was using a new platform, like a new website and all that. Changed the name, changed the logo, like kind of like a whole rebrand and all that. So I was doing all of that and it's so cute. I love it. I got. I ordered like labels and postcards and I have to make, I design new stickers and all that stuff for all the packaging and things like that. And then I've been making new nails. So I was doing that this morning. It's really cool. I'm so happy. I'm really excited. All right now I'm going in with a Fenty Beauty powder foundation and I use the shade 440. Hopefully I get a tan this summer and then this won't be so dark. I would say it's a little dark, but I'll probably, I probably could do a shade lighter, but I think they didn't have the right undertone that was like next down. That's why I didn't get it. Yeah, that's what's been going on this week. So I did set a day, April 22nd. That's next Thursday. There will be new nails. There's a new nail drop. And then I'm focusing on nails right now, but I have been getting some questions about like various other things that I was selling, like stickers and shirts. That's gonna come back, but I just wanted to do one at a time, uh, just so I could like get focused on, cause I feel like a lot of people didn't know about a lot of things. Cause I had just like launched a whole bunch of things and then didn't give it time to like focus, give everything like special attention. So I'm doing one thing at a time. So everything will get the attention it deserves so yeah so next thursday mark your calendars there's a launch if you like press on nails i hand make press on nails i'm going to be putting on a set later on and um yeah i'll be reopening my shop it's called the bling brand i also went ahead and started the process on like making it official and i bought the llc for it but it's like a whole process. It's not just buying it like it's got to be filed, approved, and then you have to get all these things to make it official. So I started the process. And um, yeah, so it's called the Bling Bring Handmade Nail Sets by me. Yeah, it used to be Bling Nail Studio, but I changed it and make it a little bit less specific, even though it'll always be pretty much nails, but I wanted to leave it open. 
so that was the bronzer the fenty beauty bronzer and mocha mommy i knew i have a full face of fenty just like over time i really do like genuinely like the products i've bought like one thing at a time and they're all hits i'm just using some blush i like the redness in the bronzer but i like to like exaggerate it with a redder blush done with powder <clears throat> Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I've been um, doing the edge control. I think I did this in the last time I got ready. It should be easy today since I just cleaned them up. Oh yeah, they look so much better. So that's pretty much everything that's been going on with me. Nothing extravagant. I really just have a one track mind. Yeah, so that's basically all that I do. I've been working out pretty consistently. Like I've been doing good this week. I'm gonna use the Too Faced lip injections. Um, I've done it every day this week and it's Thursday, so I can't work out again. I am in the past, so the last few months, well actually this year, my goal was to like work out more often and then I set a goal to do three times a week and I pretty much have been hitting that, like that became manageable for me. And then, so I was able to be like, three times a week and then it became where like I was looking forward to like going outside because I was doing hikes and stuff and working out and like getting some activity and not like you know ending my day with doing something you know not always focusing on work so now I've been like it's been really easy for me to just work out like I'm like okay it's time to work out and it's not like a chore like I'm like I never thought this time would come where like I can work out and I'm not upset about it so I'm really happy about that. I can't wait to like maybe finally be the fit person I've always wanted to be. Not all of them, sometimes I don't really care, but I don't know, right now I do. And, um, but yeah, it's probably just because like I have a really big motivation. My birthday's coming up this summer. It's almost summer, so I wanna like look, you know, feel and look good for that, so. I'll be 22 at the end of July so I got a good amount of time like if I go ahead and focus right now I'll be straight so I'm excited about that now I'm using the Morphe micro brow pencil in Java I think yeah Java and I just like go in underneath just feeling like a bit of sparse areas really make a line underneath to like define it if y'all can see there's like a line so I do that on both sides. Kind of have a new brow routine. I like to do this, like make a def, like define the line. So it's more pronounced and then I won't have to use concealer. Sometimes I still go on with concealer though. So the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil, it's like $6. It's my favorite. It's like the least expensive tiny brow pencil. This is my favorite. And then I also, there's another favorite brow product. This is just good for like just brushing through your brows. However, but this is the Wow Brow from e.l.f. And then I just go in and brush this in. And kind of blend out that line at the bottom. And then it also kind of darkens. Since I use the edge control, it's harder to like brush, to like use that pencil to add color. So I use this and it keeps it more natural looking with this product too, so. And those are the brows. Sometimes I have to go in with like a, just a dry spoolie and blend out the insides a little bit just so it doesn't look too dark. But other than that, that's what they look like. They look good today. They look a little, a little dramatic, but that's cool. And then to take it one step further, concealer. So I'll go ahead and do that. I like to use the skin tone shade so I use the Fenty one because it's just like a skin tone color and I put a little bit on the back of my hand and then get one of those flat brushes like this and just dab a little I usually just focus on the arch I'm just getting that defined I only use like a little bit of concealer just so it stays more natural. Sometimes when I use too much, it just looks, it's harder to blend out. And then, you know, it looks 
caked on, if that makes sense. So you have to take a lot of time to blend it out. So I try not to use that much. And then I take a little bit on the top. Something about doing it on the top. Really takes it up a notch. And blend it out. Okay, and then the final touch is to blend out the concealer and I like to use one of these like thick, I think this is like a concealer brush, I'm not really sure. And just go over it and really blend it out. But my favorite thing is like putting concealer on the top as long as you like blend it out so like, try not to make it like noticeable. But it really just like defines your brow, especially if you get like your skin tone shade. So you're just really cleaning it up, not trying to like make it bright. It makes like the best eyebrow. Yeah, they look really good today. I'm glad I needed to clean them up. So that's why they have not been looking good. So now they look amazing. And then my eyebrows never look the same like whatsoever and I don't I don't even try to make them the same because that's just too much. As long as they both look good on their own, it's fine. So what's next? I think I'm gonna do a little bit of eyeshadow, but I'm just gonna use my bronzer and my crease. Never go on bronzer because if you already use it on your face, then it just kind of goes together. I really like to do this sometimes, but also I have a eyeshadow palette that has a color like this in it too. So, so now I'm gonna do some lashes. I got some new ones from the Beauty Supply. Um, I have these. I know what kind of style of lash that I like now, so it makes it easier when I'm like shopping for them because. I would like to just have like one that I really like, like a daytime one and then like a nighttime one, but I'll probably always try. So I like ones that look like this, where they're kind of all the same length around, not too long and a little wispy. So this is like my favorite kind where they're pieces like that, like there's like clusters. That's my favorite. And then it's pretty much the same length all the way around like it goes it's shorter on the inner corner but it's not like a cat eye or anything so and then these are like a little bit more dramatic so i like lashes like that i'm gonna do these today these are i envy matte 3d invisible band soft matte finish naturally fluffy the only thing about a beauty supply lash is they will like they tape this thing up so much you have to you have to like completely demolish the packaging to open it. I feel like they put tape on it so like you can't pull it out of the box. It's taped down. It's crazy. These are the lashes I'm gonna wear today and I got some new glue. I'm gonna be using the Duo Brush On Glue in Dark. Okay, never mind. I'm not sure about these. Uh, I don't know. They might be a little too curly. I don't know. I'm gonna wear some I already wore because those are not on my eye. Like they haven't formed to my eye yet. So I'm gonna put on these. These are like the same shape. Uh, actually, they're the same as the other ones that I showed you. I, I just got two of these. So yeah, I'm gonna put on these instead. I have this liner, Morphe liner. Well, these are actually like eyeliner, lip liner pencils. So I use, this is like the lip liners that I normally use, but I got one in black, so I can use this eyeliner. Well, actually I got it to try like the black liner, like black and then black liner and like blend it out. I'll try that one day, but uh, right now I've been using it on my eyes just to make like a line when I don't feel like doing a whole wing. I just do a quick line and call it a day. 
And then mascara. I'm using this Bite Mascara at the moment. Makeup's done. I think I'm going to keep it simple on the lips and just do glosses and stuff because I'm not, yeah. Uh, I want to try that black liner, but I have like a whole look idea that I feel like I should go with. So I'm not going to do that today. But yeah, this is finished look. Just simple makeup routine. So now on to hair. This is just the scarf I slept with. And it's also my edge scarf. But I have it up in a ponytail right now. And so I did this because I wanted them to be short. Or I did them and I wanted them to be short. But the top is a little bit shorter than the bottom. Like I didn't realize like I wouldn't be able to cut the bottom as short as I wanted to. Because my hair is a little too long. But I think I might be able to fix it. Hold on. So, this is my hair right now, and it's just like, twist with beads. I think it's really cute. I've never done anything like this before, um, so I was really excited to try it. I didn't know it took so long to put beads on though, but yeah, I just have some twists, and I mixed a few colors. I mixed because I didn't film a video for this. So I mix a few colors. I mix 350, 30, 1B burgundy. And I had like 1B, 350 and 350. A blonde 30 and then some burgundy like red color. So since my roots were, are grown out, I wanted to add back in like the darker 1B color. So that's what I did. So. I haven't finished. I have a few left and I decided that I would wouldn't put beads like on the bottom row just to like save time. So let me show you what it looks like in the back. And so I don't know if y'all can see, but like on this side, the bottom row isn't well. Like the bottom row is like a little bit too long. So I'm gonna see if I, I can cut it a little bit shorter. Um, but then I just have a few long pieces to put beads on. The ones that are still long, the ones that are still long, I have to put beads on. So I'm gonna fix my hair up. <laughs> I can sit and watch. And then I'm probably gonna put it up in like a ponytail or something, or like half a path down. The beads that I used, they look like this. So I got all my beads from Joann's Craft Store. And. I just got like the largest ones they had. So I'm using these, these. My beauty supply didn't have a lot of like large beak sele selection. So I went to the craft store. So I'm just doing like two or three of the like biggest ones on each twist, so.
All right, got my hair finished. There's a few that just have to be too long, so the back is slightly uneven, um, but honestly, it's good enough. Yes, so. Yeah, hair, makeup done. I think it's really cute. Like this hairstyle and I'll probably wear it like this. This I just finished it, so this is my first time actually wearing it. Uh, and then I was kind of like hesitant because I was like, I don't have, I would have had to buy so many beads. I don't think I even had enough to finish all of them. So I'm glad like not having beads on all of them doesn't look weird. Um, but I think it'd be cute like up. This half up, half down. It was cute down, but I feel like that might just be like a lot of like knocking and stuff. But put a little scrunchie on. Got this scrunchie from the beauty supply. It was like a dollar. Okay, so to finish me getting ready, I'm just gonna do some nails because I, <gasps> they don't, I mean like they look like regular nails, but they're just so like uneven and I keep, they keep snagging on stuff. So I have a few sets to choose from. I have a long one, but I kind of don't feel like putting it on, but uh, yeah, I'll figure something out. Whoa! Okay, so I just got, I just put the nails on and I got these, um, the little stick on, glue on. I don't know what you, I, I got the stick on tabs, right? I bought them to use to like put in the, in the package, like for my customers. But I just tried them today because I had never tried something like that. So I just wanted to make sure like it would be something I would want to include. And they worked way better than I thought like they really do feel secure and i'm a pro kind of wearing press-ons so i'm not saying like you can do anything crazy but this is secure enough like i can i'll keep these on the rest of the day or like you're going to dinner like it's secure on there you just probably prep your nail bed make sure it's like dry and free of oils but wow that's a game changer. Why haven't I tried these before? That was so easy. And then especially if you like to change your nails as much as I do, I like to take mine off at the end of the day. This might be it. I used to like to keep them on for like two weeks, so I would glue them on, but yeah, that's nice. So I'm definitely gonna include that or at least have it as an option. I don't know. I feel like you should just have both, but yeah. So this is what the set looks like. This was a foil that I kind of messed up on. It was a really pretty foil, but uh, I messed up on the application. But yeah, they just look like this. So my nails, they're cute, they're cute. <sighs> I'm impressed. Yeah, I'm just chilling. I'm about to have some lunch, continue the rest of my day. I'll get dressed uh, later. So yeah, we've come to the end of the video. Did some makeup, chat a little bit, finished my hair did some nails so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one bye